Okay, so this video we're going to be looking at the differences between white matter and gray matter. In general, here we're talking about things in the central nervous system, the brain and the spine in particular. Uh, now, let's first start with the myelination. Uh, the Because there's basically three differences between white matter and gray matter in general. We have myelination, we have the location of the cell bodies, and we have the synapse point. So, dealing first with the myelination, first of all, white matter is myelinated. It's myelinated. Gray matter is unmyelinated. That's the first difference. And we're just talking about that sort of white cotton looking thing that's over the axon that makes uh, the action potentials go faster. When it's myelated, it goes faster. When it's unmyelinated, it goes slower. But that's the first difference here between white and gray matter. Gray matter is all unmyelinated axons. The second difference re is regarding the cell bodies. Now, in white matter, there are no cell bodies. No cell bodies in the white matter. Of course, there's axons. Now we'll, talk, now we'll talk about the gray matter where there are. It has cell bodies. So this is the second difference. Now the third difference is, is regarding the synapse issue. When you have two uh, two nerve cells that are going to synapse with each other, they're doing that in different areas. In white matter, there is no synapse. No synapses in white matter. White, the, the synapses of nerve cells only are in gray matter. It has the synapse. It has the synapse. So only synapses are in the gray matter not in the white matter here's some big picture differences there's some other differences as well but this will really really summarize everything you need to know about the main differences between white matter and gray matter within the brain and the spine in the central nervous system